Welcome to Royal Secrets. Eating cake that you want. Harry and Meghan draw criticism for HRH benefits. The Duke of Sussex is still involved in a conflict regarding his security in the UK. Despite their withdrawal from the royal family, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been charged with abusing their royal status. Prince Harry has a tendency to want his cake and eat it too, according to royal expert Hilary Forwich, who said to Fox News. He would like royal protection, access, and attendance at royal family events so that he can tattletale. Yet, at the same time, wants his privacy, all while hiring three PR firms? He wanted to wear his military uniform at his beloved grandmother's funeral, but doesn't want to work as a royal. Prince Harry, according to Ms. Forwich, allegedly used his royal status to break the law on further instances. He wanted to break the rules so that he may have a beard for his wedding, even though army protocol only permits beards to be grown with the commanding officer's approval. In general, exceptions are only made when they are justified by medical, religious, or traditional considerations. His personal dispensation from Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II was obtained as a result, although it was never sufficient. The activities were equivalent to quitting your job and asking the firm to keep pay for your benefits, according to Ms. Forwich. In another news. Standing up for modern art. A royal expert defends Sadiq Khan in the Queen statue controversy. After the London mayor said Trafalgar Square wasn't the best place for a statue honoring Queen Elizabeth II, royal author Jenny Bond defended Sadiq Khan. The fourth plinth of Trafalgar Square, which is now occupied by a variety of contemporary sculptures, has been suggested as the location for a statue in honor of the late Queen Elizabeth II. The London mayor, Sadiq Khan, has opposed calls for such a memorial saying the fourth plinth should continue to be a moving exhibition space for modern art. Jenny Bond, a royal analyst who appeared on GB News, said she agreed with Mr. Khan's viewpoints. I believe he is merely defending modern art, she remarked. Ms. Bond said on GB News said she agreed with London Mayor Sadiq Khan and added, I'm quite with Sadiq Khan on this. I believe the fourth plinth should feature contemporary art, and it should change every two years, she concluded. Prue Leith came up with the notion back in the 1990s, and in my opinion, Prue exhibited excellent judgment. The Sadiq Khan-led Labour administration has made it plain that there are many locations in London where a statue of the Queen might be placed. The Labour administration would be totally in favour of that, they simply need to talk to the royal family about it. The fourth plinth will continue to display fresh works by top artists for the foreseeable future, according to a representative for Sadiq Khan. For the following four years, there are scheduled fourth plinth exhibits. By the end of 2022, a statue of John Chillum, a Baptist who led an uprising against colonial rule in Malawi, will be installed there. It was made by artist Samson Kambalu. The fourth plinth will house Teresa Margul's contemporary sculpture, 850 imprints in 2024 for an additional two years. Mr. Khan would be in favor of a memorial to Queen Elizabeth II in a separate part of the city, according to the London Mayor's office. The Greater London Authority stood ready to support the royal family in their desires, according to a statement that said, A statue of the Queen in an appropriate place in London is a matter for the royal family to consider. Look, I don't like modern art very much, but I have room for it in my heart, and I think we should widen our horizons, Ms. Bond said in a statement to GB News. She offered a number of different sites where paying tribute to the late Queen might be seen as more appropriate. What about horse guards? Ms. Bond questioned. It's large, why don't we put a statue in there? Alternatively, halfway down the mile. She may be halfway down the mile, just outside Clarence House, and staring towards Buckingham Palace because it is a very wide boulevard. Sir John Hayes's speech to the House of Commons had a significant role in popularizing the idea of erecting a statue in honor of the late monarch. The fourth plinth would provide an excellent site to display the sculpture, according to the Conservative MP, who said that an appropriate national memorial has to be constructed. Penny Mordaunt, leader of the Commons, informed her colleagues that further thought and debate with entities outside of the House were necessary before moving through with the proposals for a statue. In order to allow the necessary teams to be engaged before making a decision, 
Ms. Mordaunt indicated she planned to bring up the issue with Culture Secretary Michelle Donald.